Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, this is one of those stories that some people are going to jump on and say he serves you right, and, uh, but to me, it's just a sad story. So last weekend, a couple got married and went on their honeymoon on a seven-day cruise with Carnival on the Valor. And so everything, they seemed to be enjoying themselves, everything was going really good, they were having a great time. They're newlyweds, they're on their honeymoon, who's not going to have a good time? It's just, that's what you're going to do. And a Carnival ship for your honeymoon, if you're a young couple, is probably a really good choice because it's a party atmosphere and that's kind of what you're going to do on your honeymoon. You want to be partying, you want to be celebrating. Uh, a couple days in to the cruise, the gentleman fell and he didn't fall into the water. He fell from one of the decks, deck 14, down to a lower deck on deck 10. Apparently, uh, him and his wife were walking back uh, when he, she turned around. He had disappeared for a little bit. When she went looking for him, she actually found him on deck 10 sprawled out. He ended up being evacuated after the doctors looked at him. He was helicoptered out to the hospital. Uh, he has fractures in his face. He has a ruptured spleen. He has uh, severe damage to his lungs. But the good news is it looks like after the operation he's going to be fine. It's going to be a long recovery but it's not going to be permanent damage. Uh, there's no uh, nerve ending or, or neurological damage that they can tell, so it looks like he should have a really good chance for a complete full recovery. So now we get into the part of the story where a lot of people are going to jump on, and uh, it's how did this happen? How did he fall, you know, four stories to the deck and apparently all day uh, the gentleman and his wife were consuming alcohol. They had the drink package of course. Uh, it is their honeymoon after all. And after drinking around 10 margaritas, uh, this is when this happened. Now we didn't drink these 10 all at once. It wasn't within an hour. It was during the day, throughout the day. So. His wife says he wasn't, really wasn't inebriated. He wasn't slurring his words or anything like that. However, if she was drinking too, could she really tell? <laughs> you know what I mean? If you drink a lot, you don't really know when you're hitting some of those points. Uh, you think you're fine and not necessarily are. So, no. I, did the drink have something to do with it? More than likely, was he just doing something silly, like leaning over trying to get a selfie or something stupid? Possibly. Uh, we don't know. Uh, they're, they're not coming out with any reports on this right now. They're just saying that he's going to be fine. Uh, it's not a case of rough weather and falling overboard or anything like that or purposely jumping. It's not that kind of case. It is an accident, but uh, it's one of those ones that are probably self-inflicted, if you know what I mean, of your own volition. Um, and it's just a sad story. Imagine you're going on your honeymoon uh, and you come back from your honeymoon and you have possibly, you know, months and months of recovery in a hospital now for something stupid. It, it's not a great story. And on your honeymoon of all places, and he's a very young man, she's a young woman just starting out their marriage and life together. It's kind of sad to me. I'm not going to pile on saying you shouldn't drink too much and it's all your fault and everything. To me, uh, you know, if you're ever going to drink, <laughs> uh, probably your honeymoon is as good of an excuse as anything else. <laughs> I, will, I will say that. Uh, however, you have to take responsibility if it causes you to have some lapse of judgment along the way. 
that's your that's on yours and he's they're not they're not saying it's the cruise line's fault or anything like that they are taking full responsibility so good on them the the wife even made a joke saying that they got the vi treatment treatment to, to to get off the ship because they were flown off the ship in a helicopter so hopefully they have cruise insurance to cover that airlift as well she might not be in such a good mood if they didn't have that at the end and they get that 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 bill that's not going to be a good bill so uh yeah sad story good news is gentleman is fine gonna recover doesn't look like permanent damage bad news is have it on your honeymoon and long-term recovery <laughs> what are you gonna do well let me know what you guys think down below try not to be too hard on them <laughs> I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.